What's going on, chosen elect? Saints of the Most High God. <clears throat> Constitutional citizens. Yep. And we're going to have to lock that in. Because that's your holy covenant. I'm going to prove that. Uh, I intend to prove that with this video. Because you need to, to know the scriptures. Every word of God. Matthew 4.4. 4, and you need to know the Constitution, 1 through 15 Amendment. Those are your rights, your Bill of Rights. Okay, the two go together, hand in hand. Just like the Old Covenant, New Covenant. Okay, so we got the laws of heaven, which is the Bible, and uh, the laws of the earth, which is the Constitution. They go hand in hand, like Old Covenant, New Covenant. I'm going to prove it. Uh, let's start with the... I, promised y'all last video we was going to go into the amendments you know to show that the blacks what they call those blacks three-fifth persons in article one section two of the united states constitution we have been sovereign a sovereign nation since 1866 okay since 1866 from uh that was a civil war fought for us which started in what 1861 Okay, and uh, the Union won, and so our enemies are sore losers, and so they hate the fact that we've been um, supremed in the United States Constitution, so that's why they hate us so much, because you have so much wealth, you have so much power, but we've been asleep, we, we are in a deep sleep, but we're gradually waking up, we are gradually waking up, okay, and so... You need to learn your rights and teach them to your children along with the Bible. You, you can't have one without the other. You cannot have one without the other. Just like you cannot separate the Father and the Son. Okay. So the First Amendment, I got it. Pulled it up here. And I uh, hope y'all can see. Okay. And it says, uh, the First Amendment provides that Congress. Remember... We have the 15th Amendment vote, so we are the Congress. And I'm talking about the children of Israel. The three-fifth persons, Article 1, Section 2. We are non-consenters. We couldn't consent because three-fifth persons could not consent. Understand this. That's why you are heirs. You are heirs in the Constitution. No, the, 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 you, we are set apart. There's no other people on the planet like you and me. And that's why we're God's chosen elect. That's why I call y'all the chosen elect. Okay, the Bible calls you the chosen elect. We are set apart. Okay, non-consented. All right. Since 1860, uh, you know, 1863 with the Emancipation Proclamation, all the way through 1870, we were signed, sealed, and delivered at the reconstruction of the United States Constitution. Okay, we're built in. We have the 13th Amendment, abolishment of slavery. That's for you and me. The 14th Amendment, that's our citizenship, saying all persons born, referring to the Constitutional Republic, that's you and me. We are the only non-consenters. We didn't consent to be in the United States Constitution. We inherited those rights from our God. Our God. That is the promised land. I'm going to prove it. Just bear with me. Let's take our time. Let me walk you through it. That is the promised land land okay we've always been there we just been asleep y'all we just been asleep just like the children of israel our ancestors in the wilderness okay uh let's read this again it says the first amendment provides that congress that's you and me all right uh nobody can trump us in corporate doctrines whatever this white man do that's all outside of the constitution y'all their bar association all they can produce is arbiters. Okay, those are not real judges. Okay, that's a stand-in. Okay, they don't, they don't, they, uh, they were able to do to us uh, their, uh, uh, destroy us and, you know, abuse us as long as we stay asleep. Okay, but the God, the God of Israel has been protecting us. That constitution has been protected just like he protects the Holy Bible. Even though we were asleep, he's still been protecting us. You know, but it's up to us to wake up. The Bible keeps telling us, awake, awake, right? 
right? First Corinthians fifteen thirty four say, "Awake, awake to righteousness." Isaiah fifty two starting with verse one says, "Awake, awake." What's that? Ephesians uh, what is that? Five fourteen say, "Awake, out of your sleep, and Christ shall give you light." You know, awake, rise up from the dead. Christ shall give us light. Keeps telling us, awake, awake. Okay. All right. Let's try and get through this. Uh, uh, provides that Congress make no law respecting an establishment uh, of religion or prohibiting its free exercise. So you have free exercise of your uh, religion. And remember, that there was only one pure religion, and that's the Black Messiah, Jesus Christ. James one twenty seven. James one twenty seven. There's only one religion, only one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Ephesians four five. See, this is spiritual, y'all. The Constitution is spiritual. Okay, lock that in. It's spiritual, just like the Holy Bible. It's spiritual. It's a covenant. All right? God put his people in this constitution. Even though we label three-fifth person, we could not consent. That makes us set apart. Every other people come to this country, they come by consent. We did not come here by consent. They consent to so-called being sent, but they can't get in there because we are non-consenters. All right? Since 1870. We're built in. They're not built in. They're not the Constitutional Republic. You and me are the Constitutional Republic. Lock that in. I'm going to keep saying that. I got to drill that in. You in boot camp. And you got to be made perfect. All right? We have to be made perfect for the coming of our Messiah so we can take over. Right, we got to wake up. We waking up gradually, but uh, that forty acres in a mule, that's you and me. We got that. We already have it. You know, the address to the White House is sixteen hundred. Sixteen hundred. Uh, you square that out. That's forty acres. Yeah, that's forty acres. The White House address. All right. Let's keep going. So we're going to change the White House to the Light House. We're going to call it the Light House. Right? We're going to change that name. All right? To the Light House. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. It protects freedom of speech. Now you got to lock this in. You have freedom of speech. Because the devil's going to challenge you at some place, at some time, somewhere. He's going to challenge you. You have freedom of speech. All right? And this is in righteousness. Because they have a saying, well, you can't yell fire in a crowded theater, but what if there's a fire? What if there's a fire? You just get what I'm saying? So we don't use freedom of speech in wickedness. We are the righteous. We are the saints. There's no guile found in our mouth. Right? So you have freedom of speech. Let's say you're against uh, 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 the alphabet group. You have a right to be against the alphabet group. Freedom of speech come from your God. This don't come from men. See, men are trying to trespass this amendment, this Bill of Rights. See, they're going to challenge you and say you don't have freedom of speech. You get where I'm going? This is, this, this is what they've been doing to us. For 400 years. Uh, freedom of press. Like you you, uh, you can carry your camera. Let's say you want to record something. You got the right to do that. Freedom of press. Freedom to assemble. That You know they had laws about. Oh, they got laws of uh, policies. They got policies with, against all of this. Your constitutional rights. So they come up with policies. To fight us against the Bar Association and the judges, they have common interests to fight against the constitutional citizens. 
Again, all they can produce is arbiters. You know, fake. Uh, their common interest is what they call the public. The public are though all those, even the, the they call them Americans or immigrants. Anybody who is a uh, who are not in that con constitution, that's who they uh, they are for. They fight for them. They promote them. They make policies for them. And they are foreigners to the Constitution. That's what that Bar Association does. Produce arbiters. Fake judges. Because Judah is the judge. You and me are the judge. We got the 15th Amendment. That's the New Jerusalem Wall. The 15th Amendment is a built-in vote, y'all. That makes us the Senate. That makes us the Congress. That's what we read now. That makes us the government. We are the, the house of King David. With Jesus Christ is on that throne. Luke chapter 1, verse 30 to 35. You can say we the house of Jesus Christ. Dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This is the new Jerusalem wall, y'all. You and me are the new heaven and the new earth. But you got to grow in this wisdom and knowledge and understanding. You have to become a sovereign. That's what the Constitution is. It shows God sovereignty. Right? You got to come into spiritual authority. You got to grow into spiritual authority. Because these principalities and powers, these uh, uh, powers of darkness, want to stop you from growing into your God sovereignty. And that's all it is. They're... Their uh, foreign government is ran by satanic forces, dark angels, right? Uh, the serpent and his children. Genesis 3, 14 and 15 tells us that. Genesis 3, verse 14 and 15 tells us that. All right, let's keep continue here. It says, uh, we have freedom of speech. Uh, the uh, freedom of press, right? So you are, uh, we can be our own media. Just like with this video, this freedom of press. Yeah, you can be. We can be our own media. We can be our our underground media. I like to call uh, my site in the uh, site of the mighty great lions. We're like the underground railroad of today. We're like the underground, the modern day underground railroad today. We're the modern day underground railroad. I hope I'm saying that right. And the right to petition uh, government uh, for the redress of grievances. But we talk to one another. We counsel each other. Just like the Lord is a wonderful counselor. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. So we that, that's among ourselves, y'all. We don't have no uh, heathens in the midst of us. Remember, we set apart. Bible tells us, come out from among them, be separate. The Second Amendment, it gives citizens the right to bear arms. And we know uh, the weapons of our warfare are not quantum, but mighty through God. That's just weird. That put their... Uh, that's the, just the wisdom of God, man. Because the Lord put that there so they would not destroy the Constitution. Because we know that Esau loved his guns. Yeah, right? His gun and knives. That's why they had them guns and knives shows. They had them about three times a year in every state. Guns and knife shows. That's the wisdom of God to put that there so they would not destroy the Constitution. They would not utterly destroy the Constitution. Because the white man know he got to go to war with his own people. If he tried to take away that Second Amendment. Am I right? I'll take an amen on that. Y'all know I'm right on that. So that's the wisdom of God. That Second Amendment. But our weapons of warfare. The Bible tells us is, is the scriptures. The weapons of our warfare are not corner but mighty through God. Right? I ain't got to go there. Right? We all know that one. Right? That's uh, 1 Corinthians 
uh, 2 Corinthians 10, verse 3 through 6. 2 Corinthians 10, 3 through, 3 through 6. Right? Uh, for time's sake, I, uh, I ain't got to go there, right? Second, uh, well, now when we had Third Amendment, let's go ahead and get that. Third, Third Amendment. All right. All right. All right. Third Amendment says, uh, "No soldier shall in any time." Of peace be quarantined in any house without the consent of the owner and we the owners we are the landlords keep that in mind nor in time of war but in any manner to be us uh, prescribed by law that's us so in a time of war uh, we can confiscate cribs or we can uh by eminent no domain, take over uh, residence, and that's us. That's Judah, right? Remember, we the supremacy scepter. We the supremacy scepter and power. So, uh, Fourth Amendment. Let's get the Fourth Amendment. Uh, just keep this in mind, because all of this, you're gonna need all of this. Don't think any of this is stupid. Uh, you're gonna need all of this. <laughs> uh, this is gonna build you up once you once you get it in. You need this. You need this part uh, to be perfect, to be made perfect. You gotta know these are your rights because these will be challenged. This is challenging your sovereignty. Okay, this they will challenge your sovereignty. These principalities and powers. Fourth Amendment. For example, if the police search your private property without a fact, they're not allowed to, to search your person or your car. You know how they've been doing us forever. If they stop you, say, can we search your car? Did you know you got a right to say no? Did you know most of our people don't know that they got a right to say no? When I was in the world, I was letting them search my car. I didn't know when I didn't have the knowledge. And then they search your person? That's a violation of your Fourth Amendment right. You know how they check your pocket? You know that uh, stop and frisk, New York? We did a video on that a few days ago. They did that for uh, over, what, 10, 15 years? They was doing that? In New York, under Bloomberg, he had three reigns as a mayor. And they still do it. And different states still do it. They they might call it the Terry search or re, or whatever. The Terry the Terry search. Uh but that's still a violation of your rights, man. They have no respect for Judah. And, and I'm just showing you these things because you need to know that they, the law shows us that they're the violators. That's why we need to look at this constitution because you'll see who the violators are you'll see who the wicked really is this is what they've been doing uh depriving judah the constitutional citizens the ex-slaves the three-fifth persons that's what we call the niggas which are the gods if you understand ancient language that's why it's in that uh acts 13 verse 1 the niggas are the gods you know, when you call them Jews, if you call them Jews, they the gods. You got spiritual understanding, right? Uh, that That's what they've been doing, treading and trampling on our right, because we've been asleep. We've been, we've been giving them consent to do this to us. We've been consenting to the powers of darkness. That's what it tells us in uh, Romans chapter 7. We do this by consent. Romans chapter 7 tells us this. We yield to sin by consent. Huh? I ain't ready to hit the scriptures yet. I'm doing the, the, the amendments right now. 
but I ain't ready to go to the scriptures yet. But that's that's in Romans uh, chapter seven. If the police search any private property without a valid warrant or an exception to the warrant requirement, you have standing to challenge the search. You can challenge the search. If instead the police search your neighbor's house, you do not have standing to challenge the search. Of course, of course, every man pretty much on his own when it comes to his rights. But um, they're not to challenge the Constitution at all. The Constitution protects itself, really. That's why we have to allow Jesus Christ to be our Lord and Savior. Because he will fight for us. And I and believe me, believe me, the Lord will fight for you if you are obedient. Uh, 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 to the word, you have to be obedient like King David. You have to be a man after God's own heart for this to work for you. OK, otherwise you're going to be left to your own and, and you're going to be Satan's food. If the Lord ain't with you, you're going to be Satan's food. He's going to devour you. You already know that. Uh, Fifth Amendment. Let's get that. Number five. Come on. Looks like my phone froze for some reason. Come on, phone. Uh, my phone want to trip, y'all. Uh, Fifth Amendment, y'all know what that is. They had the right to remain silent. It says the Fifth Amendment creates a number of rights relevant to both criminal and civil proceedings and criminal cases. The Fifth Amendment guarantees the right uh, to a grand jury, forbids double jeopardy, and protects against self-incrimination. That means you have the right to remain silent. Like when the police roll up on you and they say, well, where are you going? Or where you been? You know, if they ask you any questions, the police, you can say, uh, uh, you can plead the fifth. You can plead the fifth. You can just say that, I plead the fifth. Or, I, or you can say, I invoke my Fifth Amendment right. You have the right to remain So You ain't got to talk to them. You know how many people have incriminated us? You know, when they do their, uh, uh, when they come to you, they do tell you when they uh, read the, uh, I forgot what you call it right now. Uh, what they say, you have the right to remain silent. They say, but anything you say, they say this, can and will be used against you in a court of law. That's what they tell you. When they so-called read you your rights. But these are heathens. They have no, you, I'm telling you, they have even... No ground to come up to a constitutional citizen. They only been doing us because they know we've been asleep. They have no right to even question you. They are posse comitatus. They are hired, hired slave catchers. They are hired slave catchers. And when it tells us in First Peter 3... Uh, like verse 8 that Satan goes about seeking whom he may devour he's looking for the slaves see the Bible says we who escaped this uh, Egypt or Babylon it, that's the word it uses it says escape my people who have escaped you have to escape plantation ground because it's still a ground of plantation. You know, the, the uh, men and the devil, who are one and the same, according to Matthew chapter 17, like verse 23, men and the devil are one and the same. Again, that's Matthew chapter 17, verse 23. You know, uh, I ain't ready to go to the scriptures yet. That's, I, I called it out. But I ain't ready to go there myself. And uh, so you have the right to remain silent when they step up to you. You don't have to say nothing to them. Okay, because a, a lot of times <clears throat> our people get in trouble just by running their mouth. They just start talking. 
That's lack of knowledge. When all you can do is say, eh, you know, I, I invoke my Fifth Amendment. Because they are the synagogue of Satan. They are the wicked. They are challenging you to see if you are fluent in, in your uh, and knowledge of self and knowledge of God. That's what all this is about, yeah. That's what your existence is about. That's why Jesus said, come unto me, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Because you got to learn of Jesus. You got to have knowledge of Jesus and knowledge of self. That's why Jesus says in John 14, 7, you neither know me nor my father. He said, if you had known me, you would have known my father also. That's, we have to have the knowledge of who Jesus is. That's your advocate and your father. Jesus is not just the son of God. Was, that was your that was to get you through, you know, to break the veil, to to get you out of the prison of your flesh. He was a son of man sacrifice. But then he has to justify you by giving you his resurrection life. That's your justification. So you got to have knowledge of Jesus before and after. Before and after. See, the Jesus Son of Man, as that sacrifice, that's the before life. The afterlife, that's your 2 Corinthians 5, 16, saying we no longer know Jesus after the flesh, we, but now we know him after the spirit. Now he's God, God Almighty. So we have uh, the foreknowledge and the uh, knowing that he's Alpha and Omega. We know him before, and that's why Jesus was saying, you see me, but you don't see me. He wasn't playing games. That's just God talk. You, those who you, you see me, but you don't see me. You see him that sent me. You hear me, but you don't hear me. You hear him that sent me. This is spiritual. Right? So you have to have knowledge of self and knowledge of God. To overcome this devil. Oh man, this is beautiful once you get this in, man. Once you process all this. So y'all gonna have to go over this every day to get it in. Your rights and the scriptures, one and the same. This is your uh, sovereignty. This is your sovereignty. Right? So don't think you got anything if you don't know your rights as a constitutional covenant citizen this is your holy covenant right because this is when you know god is with you wheresoever you go joshua chapter one uh verse five through nine as you meditate in the book of the law day and night he's with you wheresoever you go but then uh matthew 18 Excuse me, Matthew 28, verse 18 to 20. Jesus said, yo, I'm with you always, even until the end of the world. Huh? But he got to build you up with this spiritual knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and knowing that you are a sovereign. The Lord is your head. The Lord is your advocate. So as you get these words and grab them in your heart, he's gonna fight for you. He's gonna speak through you. I mean, this is this is this is life more abundantly. You you not hey man. I love it when the cops come up. I that's the best that's the best part of this thing, y'all. I'm telling you. When you gotta deal with the police and all that, and don't your haters, I don't care if it's a cool club clan, who your haters, your enemies. This is the, they your food. Do you know they become your bread? They become our bread. That's scripture. But I ain't ready to go to the scriptures. Well, we at the Sixth Amendment. Uh, let's do the six. Let's do the six. I ain't ready to hit the scriptures yet. The Sixth Amendment guarantees the rights uh, for criminal defendants. Uh, the right to a public trial, you got to listen to the word, word of this too, how they word things. Because they, uh, 
Well, let me finish reading. They're not going to. Without unnecessarily delay. That's a right to a speedy trial. And you see that they don't uh, follow any of these commandments, man. These amendments. These amendments, they are still commandments. They don't follow any of these. Right? The right to a speedy trial. Right? And and then they give you a, a, a public defender. Remember the Bar Association and the judges have their they their common interest is to fight the Constitution. They want to fight to show you us that we don't have liberty. When they took the uh Pledge of Allegiance, where they said liberty and justice for all, they pledged allegiance. And then they forfeited, they, they threw that behind their back. You know, they abandoned their pledge. And we read that in previous videos. That's Ezekiel 33, verse 15 and 16. They took the pledge to serve Judah, man. The Pledge of Allegiance. We are it says, to the flag and to the republic for which it stands. Right? One nation under God with liberty, indivisible, with liberty and justice. That's us. We that one nation under God. Y'all know that? Uh, Judah, Israel. Judah, Israel. One nation under God. Indivisible. I mean, we cannot be separate. Cannot be broken broken apart. We're set apart. We one. Like Jesus said in John 10, 30, my father and I are one. That's what that means. Indivisible. One. One nation under God. You God's wife. He loved us, man. He put us, he sovereign us in that constitution. And the enemy, that wicked can't do nothing about it. They hate the fact that we are the wealth holders. We are the landlords. But we have to wake up. We have to fully wake up. The White House belongs to us. But remember, we're going to call it the lighthouse. When we take it over, we're going to call it the lighthouse. This land belongs to us. When they talk about private, they don't have private property because they're not constitutional citizens. We are the private owners because the Holy Bible is private will. Let me say it again. The Holy Bible is a private will. Judah owns the United States government. We own the corporate mule. That 40 acres in the mule that was from that's non-consented. That mule is non-consented because we're the non-consenters. And this, this is legal. This is law. What I'm giving y'all today, this is law. Legal. You are the law. You are God's sovereign. You are sovereign law. Judah is my lawgiver. Psalm 60, Psalms 108. You are the lawgiver. What I'm giving you today is law. This white man, Esau, been ruling by tyranny. He rules by tyranny. That's why he need that gun. He need that sword. Because he's not a constitutional citizen. If he was a constitutional citizen, he wouldn't need that gun. He wouldn't do all that. He wouldn't need police brutality. He wouldn't need tyranny. Huh? He wouldn't need to, to, to be subtle and wicked and, and, and be a snake and, and embezzle the, our money. He, he would look out for us. Because we are, con we, you know what I'm saying? If they were constitutional citizens, they would have served us. They would serve us. Then they could have been a part of the 13th. They could have been a part of the state. When they call themselves the state, they can't be a state because you have to be a citizen to be a state. In order for them to be one of our citizens, they could be a, a, a hearers of wood and drawers of water. They can be. They could be our servants. They would be hearers of wood and drawers of water, and then they would be a part of the state under us. Though it would be under Judah rule. They, Satan's trying to hold on to an old earth. 
Because once you get filled with the Holy Ghost, you are the new heaven and the new earth. Is that not scripture? Was that Psalm 10430? Psalm 10430. We are the new heaven and the new earth once you get filled with the Holy Ghost. Again, the Bar Association only produces uh, arbiters and judges. They're arbiters, and what they call judges is of the public. In corporate doctrines, that's not constitutional. They are not constitutional. They are not citizens. They are foreign to the Constitution. But they only are in ruler ruling uh, position right now because Judah is still asleep. Our people have been and have been in a deep sleep. But we are slowly waking up. We are slowly waking up to our God sovereignty. And that's why these videos are for the perfecting of the saints. It takes more than just me. The Lord wants a hundred. And forty four thousand. So y'all gonna have to get this get this out. This constitutional wisdom and knowledge and understanding. It can't be just me and, and, and the brother mighty great lion. We need more of us to get this out. Alright? You are the private citizens. And those people calling themselves Jewish, y'all already know. Do I even have to go there? Y'all already know. That's why they say wish. Wish. They wish they was of Judah. They wish they were Judah. We are, well, you already know, Revelation 2 9. They are of the synagogue of Satan. Right? The real Judah is in the Constitution, they are the constitutional republic. Non-consenters, nobody can trump that. All they look, what they call laws and acts and stuff like that, that's all outside of the Constitution. The real law is the Constitution. That's the authority. That's the power that you and me are supposed to walk in. That is the promised land. All right? That's your spirit. That's your sovereignty. That's your nature. That's what the Constitution is. Remember Jesus said, my words are spirit and they are life. That's your spirit. That's your person. Freedom of speech. Uh, 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 God being your weaponry. Your second amendment. Huh? Your sovereignty is... is, is Nobody has the right to stop you and question you about this and that. You are the landlord. They had laws about uh, 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 so-called laws. They called it jaywalking. I don't know if they still uh, get it here, but you know, when we was growing up, we used to hear about jaywalking all the time. They would stop you and give you a ticket or can lock you up for jaywalking. I was in New Orleans. They were locking brothers up for standing on the corner. They call it obstruction of sidewalk. In New Orleans. That was years, many years ago. But I'm telling you, because of our ignorance, they were able to do this to us. They treat us like slaves with no rights. That means they're ignoring the fact that the Union won the Civil War. It was bloodshed for our freedom, y'all. Buffalo soldiers, black men. And women, a lot of people died for our freedom. Even Jesus Christ, the head king and judge, died for our freedom. He sealed the deal. Jesus Christ. And y'all know the videos we put out on that. And he wrote that U.S. corporate mule too into Jerusalem. So that's what we got to do. Take that mule into Jerusalem. The Lord's mule. That means you conquer your flesh. That means you become sovereign over your flesh. Huh? Self-control over your flesh. You got to rule over your flesh. Your old life. Your old life got to be under your foot. The Bible said he came down and darkness was under his feet. 
your old life is dark. That's the old earth, man. The old heaven and earth, it should be under your foot. In corporate doctrines that they put out, the, what they call the public, that's old heaven and old earth, man. We the, we, the new heaven and new earth got a man. We are the saints. It's time for us to possess this kingdom. The kingdom of God. Didn't he, Jesus say it's in you? The kingdom of God is in you. That's the new heaven and new earth. It's your person. Jesus said that, Luke 17, 21, it's, it's who you are. Didn't Jesus walk around in John 8, 58, didn't he say, before Abraham was, I am? He was a sovereign. You got to wake up to your God's sovereignty. It's the I am in you. God in you. The kingdom of God in you is God himself. Not only do you rule over your flesh, you rule over your enemies. Spiritual authority. You got to acknowledge spiritual authority. You are the new Jerusalem wall. Ain't no vote over your vote. If anybody can vote, it'd be you. You didn't consent to none, none of these laws they putting out here. You don't have to drive with no seatbelt on because you a sovereign. You ain't got to bow down and kiss Satan's butt because you were sovereign. What do you think the Bible telling us about when the Hebrew boys didn't bow down to what the king said? The king said, worship my gods. The Hebrew boys said, no, nah, we ain't going to. We got us a god. And they persecuted them, threw them in a burning, fiery furnace. And we saw Jesus was with him. And the Bible told us... When we go through the fire, we shall not be burned. In Isaiah 43. When we go through the waters, we shall not drown. Neither just, the floods will not overflow us. Told us no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Spiritual authority. Understanding that that White House belongs to you and me. The address to the White House is 1600. Again, that's the square root of 1600. 40 acres belongs to you and me we have the supreme contract the constitution is a supreme law of the land and the nations hate this but they know we are asleep they know we don't know what we have in possession they know we don't know we got black women today black women don't even want black babies now they having white babies like, like white babies. They don't want no black babies. The black babies belong to God. Children are God, a heritage of God. In Psalm 127, tell the children are a heritage of God. We got men becoming infeminate. They using all this crafty counsel against us. They turn the men against the women. The women against the men. They doing that same sex stuff. They know if they keep Judah away from Judah, Judah men away from Judah women, that we can't produce all persons born in the 14th Amendment. God won't have no family. They would have succeeded in exterminating us if we agreed, if we all agree to what they're doing. That's the throne of iniquity, Psalm 94. They are the throne of of iniquity. That's what they government is. They have hijacked the Constitution. Let me say it again. They have hijacked the Constitution and it's time for you and me, saints of the Most High Jesus Christ, to wake up and understand that we are the, the sovereign walking, talking Constitution. We are the sovereign walking, talking Constitution. And you got to understand, your enemies have hijacked it with a with a counterfeit government, a electoral college. How the electoral college going to trump the Fifteenth Amendment? How the woman's vote of 1920 going to trump the Fifteenth Amendment? That's Judah, the Fifteenth Amendment. That's the New Jerusalem Wall. We're non-consenters. We didn't consent. We inherited. 
That's Teflon. Nobody can get through that. Nobody can overturn that. They can't overturn the 14th. They can't overturn the 13th. They can't overturn the 15th. It's, it's God. This is the hand of God. <laughs> this is God. And, and if you deny the Constitution, you're denying yourself. You're denying your rights. Huh? This covenant is holy. That Constitution is holy. You have to have a holy life. That's the scepter. Because all those rights will be challenged by the devil. He's going to challenge you. Everywhere you go. You see it. You see it every day on, on the news. On television. On YouTube. On TikTok or whatever they call them damn channels. But that constitution is the deed to the land. That makes you and me the landlords. We are the wealthiest contract holders on the planet. You and me. Huh? But we got to rise up. Brothers and sisters. You got to start taking this seriously. You got to start drinking this with all your heart and all your soul. What God has given you, you are the heirs. We are the heirs. This is what's going to stop our people from being slaughtered. This is what's going to stop the genocide of our people. You and me rising up to our God's sovereignty and taking our positions. Right? We are immune to anything outside that constitution. You and me are immune to it. We are non-consenters. That cannot be trumped. That cannot be overturned. That's cosmic. That's cosmic. That shows you how special you are. God's word is true. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. You are my special people. Huh? Now I'm ready to get some scriptures. Second Chronicles 21. Oh, wow. We ain't. We just did six amendments, didn't we? Well, let me get. Let's go to seven. We supposed to do 15, right? My fault. Let's go to seven. <laughs> 